And just weeks after a 7.2 magnitude quake hit the eastern province of Van, a 5.7 magnitude aftershock hit eastern Turkey. At least three people have been killed and dozens trapped under collapsed buildings. The tremor struck at around 9.23pm local time on the 9th of November. Let's go to the scene where we meet up with Clara Cohen. I'm here in Turkey where the earthquake has brought chaos and destruction once again to the streets and citizens of Van. The quake brought down more than 20 buildings that were damaged in last month's incident, including a six-storey hotel, and thousands have been left homeless, camping out in streets. Around 100 people are trapped under the rubble. A lot of them are aid workers and reporters still in Van after the previous quake. I'm here with Erica Gaspar, who was eating dinner with a friend at the time of the quake. It was horrible. I was just eating dinner with my friend. When the world exploded, everything shook and crumbled. I ran onto the streets, but they were full of panicked people, yelling for help or searching for friends. My husband and children had died in the last earthquake, so I had no one to call out to. I made it to the edge of town, unarmed, but around me I could see people being carried in stretchers with mangled arms or legs. Thank you, Erica. Some 265 people died and 1,140 were killed in the 7.2 magnitude earthquake on October 23rd. Je suis arrivé ici après le séisme de octobre et je devais repartir aujourd'hui. J'avais décidé d'aller me coucher tôt et ce qui fait que quand le quand le séisme a, a frappé, j'étais en train de me préparer pour aller au lit. Normalement, j'aurais eu la honte de, de sortir euh, dans, dans la rue euh, en, en pyjama mais 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 là, c'était différent. Dans, dans les rues, j'entendais des enfants crier et, et les Les, les, les maisons s'effondraient. J'ai plongé sous une table alors que alors qu'un qu qu bâtiment s'effondrait sous moi. Et, et je suis sorti quand quand, quand, quand mes collègues quand mes collègues retiraient les, les débris. Around 1,400 aftershocks have been felt throughout the region ever since. Some small tremors, while others, like this one here have been disastrous for the surrounding areas. Now, back to the studio, where Madison is waiting for you with an earthquake specialist. Thank you, Clara. Here I have Professor Louis Murray, a scientist who has been studying smoothly since the age of nine. He is here to explain why the earthquake happened and why tremors can still be felt along the ground every day. With hundreds declared dead and hundreds more trapped under tons of rubble, the citizens of Turkey are going through one of the toughest times they've ever had to face. Tune in to Alphabet News and we'll give you up-to-date info as more of the rubble are removed from the streets of Van. But for now, good day to you from Madison Finlayson at Alphabet News. Mm -hmm.